How's it going guys? We are back with a video here. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter team update type of video because you know I mean a lot of cards are the same, but I do have some huge new additions. Three new huge additions of the team. I really didn't make a video on this. Alright, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, but let's get into the video now. Alright, so starting off with the new addition right here, you're gonna see it. So on the first line, first of all, we got Mika Zabenejad here. Okay, so Zabenejad, uh, we all know he's unreal. I mean, it's not a new addition, that's for sure. Zabenejad I've had uh, for quite some time now, since November 11th, right? So over a month now, but uh, he's been exceptional. I mean, I really like him a lot. Gladiator, uh, I don't have Thief active anymore. I'm not sure what happened there, how I lost Thief. I gotta double check that, I guess, in a second here. But Silver Elite Edge is really good on him as well. Good point production, 118 assists. 92 goals, so he's over a point per game. Been very, very happy with um, because of Benajad. But then the new addition, the new card, we got Jay Beagle, of course, with no MSP card art. We kind of got unlucky with that one. Well, I mean, I mean, I chose Beagle. I think he's really good, by the way. Looking at his card here, 6'3, 209, righty shot. Uh, I'm, right now, I'm running Silver uh, Big Tipper as well, which I mean, I'm not. Sure, I'm going to keep that either. It's kind of just like a ha-ha for now. Uh, but Gold Quick Draw is a must on this card. You got to have it. I mean, it's so good. It's like automatic, basically. It really is. It's so good. 21 games played, 10 goals, 21 assists. He's been very good. He's assist per game right now. So 31 points in 21 games. I guess it's all, I believe, all Hut Champs and Rivals. So he's been very good for me so far. So I can't be uh, mad, actually. I, th I think it's pretty much all uh, Hut Champs besides one Rivals game, I think. Something like that. So very happy about this card. Uh, he's awesome to me. Like, his face-offs are 99, so that's insane as it is. Technically, you don't really need quick draw, but quick draw, I believe, is like you win it pretty much. If you win it backhand straight back, unless they tie you, you pretty much win it every single time, unless they have quick draw as well. Then it comes down to, I don't even know what it comes down to at that point, but uh, Beagle's really good. I like him a lot. That's the bottom line, all right, guys? He's very good, Beagle. So I recommend him if you guys have not made him already. I really do. Then we have Connor McDavid base card. I mean, have him back on the team. He's just too good. I mean, you got to have McDavid. David. I mean, I don't know why. I wasn't using him for the longest time. He is very good. 94 Excel, 94 speed. His shot's good as well. Uh, no synergies or abilities active on this card, because I don't really think you need them. I really don't. Uh, it's it's whatever, but he's been good. 13 goals, 9 assists, and 21 games played. I mean, point per game. That's really all you can ask for, I'd say, from him, so that's very good. Uh, then the second line, similar for sure. We got Nathan McKinnon, base card, 6 foot, 200 pounds, righty. Uh, no synergy active, no ability active, but, you know, you can see the production there. It's been uh, quite good for him as well. So, been happy about McKinnon, uh, you know, on this team for a while now. I mean, it's October 22nd. Isn't that crazy? I remember I bought it, like, very, like, late at night. I think I got it, too. So, he's been really good. 290 points. I'll take that for sure from him. Then we got Austin Matthews X-Factor, which now I need to upgrade. He's, he's actually up to 90 overall. It's a speed upgrade, so I need to need to get on that for sure. I mean, it's it's definitely worth upgrading with the speed upgrade. And considering I think we'll be getting a team of the year, I really should start to probably think about upgrading him because, I mean, that'll be really a lot cheaper to make him with the X-Factor max out. It's like that. Silver seeing eye as well, uh, but 90 Excel, 91 speed, 94, 92, 95, 92 for the shot. The shot's just awesome. I mean, Matthews' shot is just so cracked all the time, so... Uh, that's a huge thing with him. 85 face-offs, which I'm pretty sure with synergies, you could definitely make uh, even better as well. So with certain synergies, that is. So that's something to consider. Uh, this Terra Vinant card, uh, I've liked him. I know some people maybe aren't the biggest fan of him, but it helps my synergies out as well with Gladiator and Light the Lamp. Uh, no abilities active on him. I used to have uh, Elite Edges on him, but that's it's kind of whatever. 92 Excel, 91 Speed. Uh, shots 90, 89, 91, 91. So good shooting for him. Uh, but no, I, I've liked him. He's, he's been solid for me. I mean, he wasn't always on the top six. Uh, line either so I mean he's you know he's worked, he's worked his way up there as funny as that sounds so I mean he's been decent though 176 points in 227 games could be worse all right on to the third line now now here's where it gets interesting I really am not committing to Ovi long term like I know he is a speed upgrade I don't think I want Ovi on my team I just feel like he doesn't play that long in this year I don't know what it is maybe maybe it's just me honestly it could be but I feel like Ovi just is not as good this year he's not as fast uh, and I feel like it's noticeable in a game where I feel like speed is so important this year. So, I don't know. I, I don't like this Ovechkin card that much. I have him on my team. But, I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not really going to, like, be, like, upset if there's a better card that comes out. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll I'll 
I'm gonna put him over Ovi. I definitely want to. If I want to re-roll him, but again, the issue is I don't have any players to replace him with right now. So we'll see what the next uh, event is, uh, or you know, maybe even other MSPs that come out I could consider. Uh, but then we have Jared McCann MSP. This card's I mean really good. I mean six one one ninety one lefty. I mean he's really good. I mean he really is. Eighty three faceoffs, ninety one excel, ninety one speed. I mean I love him. No abilities active on him either. But uh, Golden Unsolvable Force is very good from what I've heard and, and what I've seen honestly when I play against him in game. He's very good so uh yeah no on top of force is a very good ability uh just due to the reason that uh especially this year hitting is so hard i feel so uh to me the gold on solvable force is a must uh, if you definitely have this card uh, i don't have an active on him because he's on the third line so trevor zegris here another one where i'm you know i i really wouldn't mind getting rid of i really wouldn't six foot 185 lefty father zone and gladiator i got gold skilled up right now on him but you know i'm not i'm not committing to him 90 excel 92 speed uh, but, I mean, it, it's funny to have the opportunity to do a cross move. It really is. But I just, I don't know if I really want this card long term. And I, I want X-Factor McDavid, right? At some point, I need to get X-Factor McDavid. So, I just gotta, you know, keep opening my X-Factor packs and my rerolls and all that good stuff. And hopefully, we can get him at some point. But he's okay. I mean, I, I don't hate him, but I just don't feel like he's unreal either. And uh, then we also have Hillary and I, who also I would consider rerolling. Just because he's my forward line, right? I mean... If you have an X Factor in your fourth line, it's kind of almost like why do you even have an X Factor, right, on your fourth line? Because it's just kind of like you're it's, it, you're paying the power of collectibles or the coins or whatever, and it's like for your fourth line, do you really need that? Probably not, you know, probably not. Father Zone though is is very helpful, uh, but she's good. I mean, I like her card. I do. I mean, she's certainly been solid for me. She's been pretty much on the fourth line for a long time now, so that's I'm gonna consider as well. But yeah, I mean, she's fine. Bellow, though, I actually need to upgrade. He's very good. I mean, he plays really well for an 86. So I know at 89 with potentially 92 speed to 5 wingman active. I mean, that sounds like a must to me. But yeah, no, he's good. Uh, he's got silver, bucket of string, and big rig. Big rig could be decent as well to uh, unlock. So we'll see. Maybe I'll, we'll do that in the in the short short uh, future here. Jack Hughes, 87 overall. I know he's an 88 out, but right now, I mean, it's untradeable. So why not just use him? He's a devil. So got to keep him in the lineup, I'd say. Uh, 5'11", 175. Gladiator is the synergy active. Um, but yeah, no, he's, he's been solid for me. Fourth line, I mean... Does not produce much, doesn't get any power play or penalty kill time, so that's something to keep in mind as well. But now to the defense here, and some really huge new additions to the defense. You can see it already. Brent Seabrook, 6'3", 220, righty. He is a beast. He really is. I got multiple abilities active on him. Unfortunately, no synergies active on him yet. Would like to get buzzing active on him. That'd be very nice. Like the lamp, I should actually activate. I, I don't know I could do that. Um, but he's good. 91 Excel, 91 Speed, 95 Endurance. Uh, shot's pretty decent as well, 90, 85, 91, 91, silver truculence, love that, also has silver no contest, gold shut down though, that's what you really love to see as well, uh, but he's been good, I mean, one goal, 10 assists, and 21 games played, yeah, his plus minus is not maybe amazing, but again, all hot champs games, some pretty tough ones for me as well, I didn't really play that great this week in champs, I'm not going to deny that, but uh, then we have Jake Gardner as well, there's another one I made, I made two defense, maybe people think I'm crazy for that, but 62203 lefty light the lamp is what he's got active on him. Uh, I don't have any other synergies active, unfortunately, but silver stick him up is what I do have. Uh, when it comes to abilities, he's good. I mean, he's really good. Silver stick him up uh, is good. I, I think stick him up is one of the better defensive abilities in this game. 92 excel, 92 speed. Uh, he's very similar to Seabrook when it comes to point production as well. I mean, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, if they play on the same pair right but uh and and well actually more so the plus minus makes more sense right but i like gardner a lot gardner is really good so yeah i'm a fan of that top pairing the defense looks insane my defense is pretty stacked i mean let's be real yoki haru 90 overall i think i mentioned him in my pre previous team update he is awesome as well uh there's just not many bad things to say about him i mean he's solid for sure i mean he's got good buy checking uh 90 excel 90 speed two goals 21 assists i mean plus 31 that's really incredible honestly this pair is just like i guess unreal for me i didn't really i didn't realize that uh and then yeah lidstrom and he has silver shut down i mean lidstrom has been really solid for me and he's played a while now since november 10th so yeah no he's been really good as well i really like that pair then the third pair here we got uyghur which has the uh gold uh truculence and silver shutdown which maybe is a little bit crazy for uh a third pair but I don't know. I, I have it. So, I mean, why not? I guess it's not the end of the world. Then we got Bowen Byram, 88 overall, 6'1", 190, Gladiator. Uh, no abilities active because I don't really think the abilities are worth it on him. And for a third pairing D-man, I really don't like to have too many abilities active. I mean, Weger has enough. Plus 52 for him, though. That's very good. And then my goalie, 
It's still Mark, who I'm really not crazy about, but, you know, that's who I got in that right now. And again, that record's definitely not correct because, you know, he's been trolling a lot for me recently. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if not already. Uh, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique 3 es Really fighting through the pain right now. My throat is absolutely killing me, so I really apologize if the videos are definitely not up to par recently. Um, I'm trying to get better quick. I mean, I really am. I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. I, I feel terrible that I'm not really making that much content, you know, at this point uh, in December. So and I apologize for that. But I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Thanks so much for all the support. Always, I appreciate it.